Hi everyone, welcome to AI EduTech. From this video, I am going to start M1 subject for BTEC first year students. In M1, we have five, five units. In that, the first unit is matrices. In this video, I introduce about matrices and I explain what are the types of matrices. In video, the video types of matrices and matrices key introduction depth. First of all, coming to matrices, what is the definition of the matrix? Matrix is nothing but the systematic arrangement of elements in M rows and N columns. That means the systematic arrangement of elements. For example, 1, 2, 5, 9, 6, 7, 8, 2, 1. These are the elements. The elements are systematically arranged between the brackets is called a matrix. Madam, elements ni systematic ga bracket madhe no arrange cheyada ma arrange iste dani matrix ani anta. In matrix, these are rows and these are columns. Okay, these are rows. Rows rows are represented by M and columns are represented by N. The matrix consists of M number of rows and N number of columns. So the matrix, the matrix is called, it is a M by N matrix. When the matrix ni M and Tom it is a M by N matrix. This is called a matrix. Now let us see the types of matrices. Coming to types of matrices, the first matrix is square matrix. In this matrix, number of rows are equals to number of columns. M equals to N. That means number of rows number of rows and number of columns are every equal round type that means m equals to n this type of matrix is called a square matrix now coming to rectangular matrix number of rows are not equal to number of columns number of rows and every number of columns equal no for example, 5, 9, 0, 1, 2, 5. This type of matrix is called a square matrix. In the row, M is not equals to N. Okay. Now next, row matrix. What this mean by row matrix? Row matrix means the matrix which consists of only one row. In matrix row, only one row on the the row matrix and the entire next column matrix column matrix is nothing but the co the matrix which consists of only one column okay matrix lo only one column unde then the column matrix and the entire next coming to null matrix the matrix which consists of only zeros lines or a the matrix which consists of only zeros, all elements are belongs to, all all elements are equals to zero. Then the matrix is called a null matrix. It is denoted by O. Then next, transpose of a matrix. What is a transpose of a matrix? The transpose of a matrix means the interchanging the rows to columns and columns to rows. For example. 1, 2, 5, 5, 8, 9, 9, 8, 0. These are the, these are the elements belongs to A. Or these are the A, this is a, a matrix. Then, therefore, the transpose of A is interchange the rows to columns and columns to rows. 1, 2, 5, 5, 8, 9, 9, 8, 0. This is called the transpose of a matrix. The next, our next matrix is diagonal matrix. What is mean by diagonal matrix? Diagonal matrix is a square matrix in which 
all the elements are equals to 0 except the diagonal elements except the diagonal elements all the elements are equals to 0 except these diagonal elements any elements is 0 in approve then this type of matrix is called diagonal matrix then next coming to scalar matrix scalar matrix is a square matrix and also a diagonal matrix in which all the diagonal elements are same or all the diagonal elements are equal for example 3 in this all the diagonal elements are equal or all diagonal elements are same all the elements are equals to 0 except the diagonal elements all the elements are equals to 0 then this type of matrix is called scalar matrix now coming to identity matrix what is mean by identity matrix identity matrix is a square matrix and it is also a diagonal matrix and also a scalar matrix in which all the diagonal elements are equals to 1 simply the definition of identity matrix is identity matrix is a square matrix in which all the elements are equals to 0 except the diagonal elements which are equals to 1 this type of matrix is called identity matrix now coming to upper triangular matrix what is mean by upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix is a matrix in which the elements diagonal elements the elements under the diagonal elements are equals to 0 and the elements above the diagonal elements are not equals to 0 that's uh, any number if if the matrix is in this uh, in this form then the matrix is called upper triangular matrix see here all the elements under the diagonal element diagonal elements are equals to 0 the elements above the diagonal elements are not equals to 0 okay this type of matrix is called upper triangular matrix coming to lower triangular matrix it is completely opposite to upper triangular matrix here the elements above the diagonal elements are equals to 0 and the elements below the diagonal elements are not equals to 0 okay this type of matrix is called the elements above the uh, diagonal elements are equals to 0 then this type of uh, matrix is called lower triangular matrix then next coming to singular matrix what is mean by singular matrix determinant of a equals to 0 when the matrix satisfies this condition then the matrix is said to be a singular matrix i think all you know about uh, what is meant by depth right the determinant of a is must be equals to 0 then the matrix a is said to be a singular matrix now coming to non singular matrix the determinant of a is not equals to 0 the depth of a is not equals to 0 when this condition satisfies then the a is said to be a non singular matrix these are the types of matrices. In the next class, the complex matrices types explain this uh, Like for example, uh, skews, skew, hamishan, hamishan, symmetric, skew, symmetric, unitary matrix. This matrix is the next class. Lo explain this time. This video ki like this video. Please support me. Please share your first year friends ki video. Ni share chayani. And next video, ko subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.